Good day, everyone. I hope that everyone is doing well and happy and healthy. This is a video response to a subscriber that asked how I made my juice that I have in the morning when I take my vitamins and herbs in the morning. And I wanted to come on and share this with everyone. And I hope that she is watching. And um, so I'm happy to share it. Um, I started cooking this yesterday. But before I get into that, I want to preface this by saying I am not a doctor, nor am I a nurse. I don't even work in a pharmacy. I just have a healthy love of things that are natural and to kind of maybe get away from taking, you know, pills out of a bottle and drugs and, you know, things like that. Uh, if we can things into our body that our body is going to go, yeah, this is great. This is groovy. I'm digging it. Then all for the better. But um, what I'm talking about is grapefruit peels, oranges, lemon peels, even mandarins. All of these particular fruits and particularly their peels have, are, have the highest amount level of pectin in anything that you can find in the produce department. And if you don't know, pectin is a prebiotic, not a probiotic. It is a prebiotic. And with that, I mean a prebiotic is something the probiotics feed on. So by ingesting this and putting this into your body, it gives your probiotics something to eat, something to flourish. So you have a happy, healthy tummy and a gut as well. There, it's also very, very high in vitamin C. And pectin is a type of a soluble fiber. So it may, now I'm gonna tell you, it may help reduce your cholesterol. And again, it's a prebiotic, so it will. it's really good to treat an upset tummy and it may help you reduce your risk of cancer. But um, yeah, so it's food for probiotics and it's a healthy amount of vitamin C in here. Now I don't drink like a big gobbing glass of it. I, I will drink maybe eight ounces of it in the morning with my vitamins. And when I drink it, I don't put any sugar, I don't put any honey or anything in it. It, for me, it is kind of, it kind of reminds me how my body reacts to it. It reminds me of the uh, Milky Oak Top Tea that I shared that recipe with you guys for. It's, it's when you drink it and it, and it settles into your, your stomach, it's like it's nourishing. So, and with all of the colds and things going around now, uh, you know, a little bit, eight ounce, with your vitamins. I think it's a marvelous, marvelous thing. But uh, I cooked this yesterday. What I do is I do, um, I do save my peels in the refrigerator. I gather them together maybe once a week, something like that. Now it doesn't matter that some of the fruit, I, I'm, I think you guys can see some of the fruit has been left in here. Now I, when I, when I go to cook it, I fill this just chock full of water and boil, bring it to a good boil, turn it to a simmer. Now, what I mean by simmer is not like it's barely warm. It, it's still just a little bit of a simmering. You can still see it moving a little bit. And I let it simmer at least three hours. That's a, like a, a very bare minimum. Yesterday I did four hours. I could have let it cool yesterday, strained it off and be done with it, but I wanted to do this video for you guys. And I don't think that it hurts that, to allow it to set overnight, of course in a cool room, and allow this water to soak up as much vitamin C and fiber and pectin that it can. And so that's what I did. I allowed it to cool. And, you know, I mean, it's not rocket science, guys. A bowl, a strainer. If you want, you can use a strainer like this. 
you can use a fine if you don't like pulp pulp doesn't bother me but if you don't like pulp use a fine mesh strainer and if you really don't like pulp or if you you know your children may you know have an aversion to it line either one with some cheesecloth strain this out as best that you can but basically really all i do is is i take this i had better move this and just pour this through and what i do have is i have a couple of really large containers like this and i'll basically just decant it into this large container and set it in the fridge it and this will be full. This will absolutely be totally full. If you want to add, a, if you think it's too strong for you, add a little bit of water to it. Add a little bit of honey if you want to. Um, I personally don't. Um, I don't mind that it does taste a wee bit bitter. And I, you know, I don't mind that so much because I, you know, you don't necessarily have to drink sweet everything, you know. So, but I strain that off. I strain as much out of here as I can. And again, mine has pulp and all kinds of things running in it, which I think is a good thing. And, you know, that's about it. I also, if I have some extra left over, I also make little ice cubes if during the day, if I'm here, if especially if I'm working out in the yard and I'm getting hot, I will use these ice cubes in some, just some water just for a little bit extra, a little bit extra boost. Um, but, you know, I think that's one of my secrets to staying as healthy as I can during this time. Um, I, I mean, I've done all of the normal <laughs> precautions, but yeah, there you go. And it's really, really just that easy, guys. And like I said, if you don't, if you don't like bitter, add a little bit of sugar to it. But um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and uh, I will see you again very, very soon. Merry part, and I hope to marry meet again. Goodbye, guys.